what's up you guys welcome back to another vlog yes my tree is still up don't judge me but we're gonna take it down today I just got done recording a video for you guys which is why I have red lipstick on the wrong concealer but you can't tell in the video so yeah don't tell my secret girl I pretty much just rigged the video a little bit but i couldn't find the concealer that i normally use so i had to do something to cover up these dark circles and i had to just change the lighting so you really couldn't tell but you can tell now because child i'm just moving around the house but today is wednesday january 11th so happy wednesday or whatever day it is when you're watching this because it's probably, probably i know for sure it won't be wednesday um i got up i took the kids to school and I came back late in the bed for 30 minutes really contemplated really really quickly um, on just sitting in the bed all day because I'm cramping I started my period last night and so my first few days two three days is terrible for me I feel really tired I feel kind of weak and I'm cramping really 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 bad like back cramps I'm so achy my hips my thighs like it's bad but I made a vow to myself this year to become the person that I know I'm supposed to be. And this morning, during my little quiet time, me just sitting and reflecting on life and just talking to God, he made it very clear to me that I need to learn to live uncomfortable because a lot of things that's attached to my greatness and attached to that's attached to who I am going towards to becoming is not going to feel comfortable and just because it doesn't feel comfortable just does not mean that it's not supposed to happen so i don't know who needed to hear that in this vlog but girl that's mainly what i was talking about one of the things i was talking about in the video i just recorded so you might want to go watch it so that was my fool so i got up out the bed pull myself out the bed don't be fooled by the red lips the wig and the, and the shirt because i definitely got on some pajama shorts <laughs> But I had to put myself together because y'all only can see me from here up. Well, here up on the video. Um, and get up and do what I know I'm supposed to be doing so I can get to where I know I need to be. The next level that you are going towards requires a different version of you. So if you don't become that version that the next level requires, you won't get to the next level. So I'm pushing myself to do everything differently this year. Everything differently from now on. Rather, it was the end of last year. I don't care. Everything different from now on. Rather, it makes me feel uncomfortable or not. So, I can become the person that I that my next level requires. Anywho, I just talked for three minutes. Whatever. I'm going to make me a cup of coffee. Because I skipped my cup of coffee to her to record the video. So, I can get up to you guys to date on time. I was going to put another video up today. But that video must get up. It's a good one. If you ain't watch it, girl, go watch it. Um, yeah, make me a nice big cup of coffee while I edit this video. And I guess we'll just use today as a um, motivational kind of self-care video because we're going to take the tree down. The kids tree in their room, they just throw, throw it all over the floor. That's getting put up. And then I got to get the kids clothes together that's been sitting in their basket that's been clean for days behind the couch. So we're going to get that put up today too, so. I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Let me make my coffee and get this video up. One last thing. Hey girl, hey. I am Kendra Kendra. If you're new here, girl, hit the subscribe button. Join the family and become one of my kid folk. You would love me. And I would love to have you over here on the best side of YouTube. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for all your support. I don't know how I forgot to do my intro, but there you guys go. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> that just sound like a commercial, but y'all get the point. I'll talk to y'all. Why is it 6.30 and I'm just not going to take this tree down. And I don't want to take it down now, y'all. I'm struggling. These cramps is cramping. Like, it's trying to take me. They trying to take me out. Like, they... I'm just, I'm just convinced, like, it's, it just wants all of me. And I'm trying not to let it have all of me. I'm trying not to give in to it. So, we finna go ahead and take the tree down before it get any later. And I don't want to spill up to my, then I'm gonna feed the kids, but 
Let's take the tree down. I also got the kids tree right here, so yeah. for the tree and I was like I could put the tree back in a box that it came in I don't have a lot of storage pretty much no storage here and the tree box will fit perfectly in the, the little slot I just had it at in the laundry closet so I just was like okay let's do that instead of getting the tote because the tote will be wider both ways and take up more space well not both ways wider like a box like a bigger square and that space not big enough for that I could stand the tree box up and I completely forgot about getting something for the ornament. So, I have this old cedar mop box. The box my old cedar mop came in that was just sitting in the pantry that we didn't throw in the garbage for whatever reason. Um, I think Babe just, when he takes out the garbage, he looks over the boxes because when I take stuff out, I typically sit it on one of the shelves in the pantry opposed to um opposed to breaking it down but good thing he didn't throw it out we gonna reuse it for all the big ornaments these right here i got from target um zoe chewed up she just chewed up um, my little small little wooden tree I got from Target, but it's okay because it was a dollar. She better be glad it was a dollar. <laughs> I'm so tired of chewing up stuff. Can you hand me that little tree right there, baby? Yeah, she mm -mm. better be glad. 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 You know what I see. I do, but I want to say it right. All right. That's it for that. On my way to Burlington, I just left the gas station, as you guys see. It's the next day. Um, I've been lounging around all day yesterday. All day today, it's like 8.50, I believe. 
in Burlington closed at 10. I'm just pretty much using this as an excuse to get out the house, child. I'm tired of laying in the bed. I am crapping like a, mm, like they trying to take me out. But I'm tired of laying in the bed, like my neck popping, my back popping from laying in the bed with a heat pad on me. So I'm using this as an excuse to get out. But I, I do need like a regular black everyday bag purse. Um, nothing with too much, nothing. I don't want nothing, a purse with anything on it. I, I don't want no little gadgets, little extra things hanging. I don't want none of that. I need something simple, not nothing too big, definitely not nothing small. I'm a mom, so I keep wet, wet wipes and stuff like that. So I needed to be able to fit your, um, your essentials. Uh, you moms know what I mean hand sanitizer, wet wipes, um, lotion, all that stuff. I need like decent sizes. So yeah, so I'm on my way too. But before I get to Burlington, um, I wanna, I got a question to ask you guys. But before I ask you guys this question, I'm gonna give you guys a little update about the, my videos and, and the change that's gonna be taking place on my channel. So my vlogs is, I'm changing to short form vlogs. I don't want them to be long anymore. I just wanna get little snippets of my day and let that be it. I do not want long um form videos like as far as vlogs and, and they're not going to be as chatty i'm going to save my motivational stuff for my actual sit down motivational videos and just give you guys more of a visual of my life little snippets um so yeah that's what you guys have to look forward to on my channel um but here go the question so after this as i leave out of burlington it's probably gonna be the end of this vlog it wasn't much, but I'm just literally showing y'all little snippets of my life. And if you like this type of content, girl, stick around. If you don't, hey, somebody like it. Cause I'm the I'm one of the ones who likes stuff like this. I watch plenty of people who create short-term vlogs that's that's not clubby and all that stuff, and it entertains me. But anywho, here go my question, really, really quick. So this question goes to all of the. Uh, parents out there all the moms and dads whoever watching me who got kids so let's say for instance um you have a child this child um okay no i'm not going to explain it like that i'm not going to explain it like that what are you guys parenting type pertaining this to this certain you know situation are you the type of parent that takes um that believes that a child should do or eat whatever you tell them to do or eat or whatever because you you your your mom or because your dad without taking the child's thoughts and feelings into consideration or are you the parent that believes that a child voice should be heard when it comes to things that they don't like especially when they become the age of become like get to the age of knowing right from wrong and and learning about themselves and knowing what they don't like and what they do like um so let me get let me just give you a quick example like let's just say your child ate a gogurt before and you know little gogurt little tubes yogurts and you watch your child eat this gogurt and then you go to the grocery store and you buy a bulk load of regular cup yogurt and your child goes and comes to you and say i don't want this i don't like it are you the are you the parent to be like um oh you're gonna eat that anyway i don't care if you like it or not i seen you eat the gogur so you're gonna eat it because i'm your mama i'm your daddy and i spend my money on it or are you the parent to be like okay why don't you like the, the this yogurt and the child explains to you that the gogur tastes more sweet and it doesn't have the strong yogurt taste um and you like okay well i respect how you feel i'm not going to force you to eat the yogurt because it's a possibility that you just might feel that way when it comes to gogurt versus regular yogurt which parent are you and what side do you stand on and why because i grew up both ways i grew up my grandma house child whatever she cooked you gonna eat if you don't like it you're gonna be hungry now my grandma did help set meals that we was looking forward to eating every week that she knew pretty much all her grandkids like ate but some stuff she put onions and bell peppers and all that stuff in and man my, my mom and daddy kids didn't necessarily like the onions and bell peppers but 
we was pretty much forced to eat it because if we didn't eat it, we you're gonna be hungry. Now my mom and my daddy, when we was at home, my parents gave us options. My parents did not force us to eat anything that we didn't like. Now when it comes to like vegetables and stuff, yeah, of course, they gonna tell you try it again or you know, try it again. But I grew up not liking vegetables. My daddy don't eat no vegetables. I think he eat green beans and he might eat sweet peas. But other than that, my daddy don't eat no broccoli, nobody zucchini, nobody salad. My daddy don't, he don't play with none of that. None of that. So we wasn't forced to eat anything that we didn't like. And my parents shopped for us based upon what we ate. But just give me y'all take on that because I'm really curious on how other parents feel. Like I really want to know. I want to make sure that I'm not alone because I believe that your child should have a voice um, as long as it's reasonable and it's not just crazy and out of this world. Um, but when it comes to things like taste and um, other, little, uh, other little things that's meaningful to a kid, like my son is finna turn 10, I believe that he should be able to tell me if he like a certain pair of shoes or not. Or not. And I'm not going to force him to wear a certain pair of shoes just because I bought it. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. Just, I don't know. Leave it down in the comments and give me y'all take on it. But let's go on to Burleson real quick because they closed in like an hour. Yeah, it is the next day. It's not the same day, obviously. I'm in my bed, y'all, because it's light outside. Um, I didn't come back, y'all, because I, I had to get home and get in the bed. I was cramping so bad. I don't know what I was thinking. It's like, as soon as I walked inside of Burlington's, and I'm cutting half of my face off because I look a hot mess, and I just don't have it in me to get up and put effort to look any better. So, anyway, as soon as I walked inside of Burlington, it's like, my cramps went next level. They just was like, I felt like somebody was praying against me and just trying to take your girl out. Like it just was, oh my God, they was so bad. Just thinking back, I couldn't even really enjoy my time. I enjoyed it as much as I could, but I stayed in there until they got ready to close. Um, it was only like an hour and a half I was in there. Um, but I went with the little now West bag that I showed you guys in the, um, the last bag I showed y'all in the clip. I did say see a DKNY bag up in there. But I'm just like, for $60, DKNY. Come on, y'all. It's reaching. Like, don't get me wrong. The quality was nice. And it was nice and sturdy, heavy feeling. Um, It didn't feel cheesy or look cheesy like those other couple bags I showed y'all. And the clip of me being in the store. But $60. Do anybody even still wear DKNY? Like, girl. I mean, I know I don't, and nobody around me that I see wears it. So I'm trying to figure out what it. And then it, that was the sale price. So I just was kind of confused. But this Now West bag was thirty dollars, and my mama used to be obsessed with Now West when I was younger. Um, and then plus this Now West bag, you uh, have um, silver hardware, and I prefer to have silver hardware over gold hardware. And Now West, is, I just rather have a Now West bag over a. I really didn't care what kind of bag I had. It didn't have to have no name on it, honestly. I'm just not in the business of spending a lot of money on materials for things because my money is going to other places to help set me and my family up at this moment of my, in this moment of my life, this season of my life. But yeah, oh, and I also got a case. <coughs> a green case. Y'all, this green color been having me in a chokehold lately. But it was like an impulse buy. It was in the owl. Y'all know how Burlington set up in the the line area they had all that crap right there for you to grab on the way check out so i grabbed that and i got out of there and i came home and i got in bed and i forgot to pick up the camera and show you guys what i actually got because yeah so we are at the end of this vlog if you're still here thank you girl for your support if you're not subscribed to subscribe and join the family i would love to have you become one of my camp folk and 
yeah, you guys stay tuned so you guys can hear about what I've been working on, what your girl got going on in her life. Just a little mini life update and yeah, I will talk to you guys in the video.